and welcome to Miss Molly's training lesson. In these videos, I'm just going to show you what I've been working on with her, uh, the hand cues that I've been using, the verbal cues, and then you can use these to go back and watch as much as you need so that you can keep practicing with her at home. So um, a couple just reminders when you're training with her. When we are um, saying the behaviors and giving the hand cues, we wanna say the word first, so we get the verbal cue, then the hand signal, so it'd be like sit, right? We do one and then the next. Um, if it is new or it's a harder behavior or we're working in a really high distraction, I want you to practice marking the behavior. So I say yes and yes tells her she got it right. So maybe we're doing down, so I might say Molly, down, she gets into the down, as soon as she hits that, I'm gonna say yes, and then I follow with a treat, okay? So hand cue, no, I'm sorry, verbal cue, hand cue, mark it, treat. That's the order. Uh, things to keep in mind is we wanna practice in lots of different locations. So I know you take her up to work with you, so you need to be practicing the training up there, and you can just randomly be doing it throughout the day. When you're at home, practice in the front yard, the backyard, practice in different rooms of the house so that she, um, you know, if the behaviors are staying the same, it's just the environment is changing. When you treat her, keep your treats really small. So even if it starts out as a really long treat, we're gonna tear it into like smaller than a pea. So it's gonna be very small, the food that we're rewarding with. Uh, using the licking mat for her dog food has been great. It's really slowed down her eating. So that becomes its own little event. And I guess what I would say, the last thing I would say is just when you're hanging out with her and Molly is being calm and still, and maybe she chooses to go lay down on a mat or bed, make sure to acknowledge that calm, still good behavior, right? That when she picks the right bone to go chew on and it's not a shoe, tell her you like it, praise her, you know, engage with her, pet her in those times where she's being calm. Uh, Molly's been really good about not grabbing my shoes, not going between my feet. And in the beginning when she would do that, I would get onto her, I'd tell her leave it, I would say uh-uh. But on the other side of that is when you're walking with her, if she's just walking along with you, praise her, you know, because we know that she could be biting your shoes. So praise her when she's walking nicely with you. Um, all right, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to warm up with some easy behaviors. Some of these she already knew, like the sit and down. So that's my cue for sit. I do a palm up for sit, palm down. And for her, it might go a little lower if she's low. But we're going to add on to that. We're going to do watch me. So it's watch me, fist to chin. And watch me is eye contact. And if she's looking at you, she's thinking about you, right? If she's looking at something else going on, that is where her brain is. So um, you'll see me do the watch, watch me. Uh, stand is another one. We didn't spend a ton of time on stand, but stand is going from sit or down position and just standing up on all fours. And adding that stand occasionally between sit and down, it gives us other behavior to do, right? Because a lot of times we'll work on sit and then down, sit and then down. So you'll ask your dog to sit and they lay down because that's where the reward comes. So we want to randomly throw in a stand to keep her focused. And then touch. So touch is a nose bump to your palm. Uh, so I'll say touch and I'll put my palm down, yeah. And uh, she'll come over and bump it. It's a way to get her attention. It can be an alternative way to call her to come. Um, it's a great way, like if you were sitting in your office at work, you might be talking to somebody, but you're asking Molly to do a touch, right? You're keeping her engaged with you. It's not a big behavior, but it's a way to keep her close, just like a watch me might. So I'm gonna run through those behaviors. Those are typically my warm up behaviors I'm doing with her. So Molly, touch. Touch, yes. So I marked it with the yes. And then I can reward. The yes also buys me a little time, so if I need to go fish a treat out, I can. I could have called her to come, but I chose to do the touch right there. So, Molly, touch. Yes. Good girl. Now, as I'm working with her, I'm not gonna reward every behavior. What I'll start to do is choose the best versions of a behavior, right? When she sits but does it immediately, maybe that one gets treated where a slow sit doesn't. Good girl, okay. 
sit. Good girl. Put down. Yes. So I'm going to reward that. But I don't have to reward it every time. She's pretty darn good at it. Down. Yes. Right. Stand. Yes. Good girl. Right there. So that one, I'm just pulling her up. So we'll do that a couple times. That's the one that I will reward that one fairly frequently because it's new. We didn't spend a lot of time on it, so she's not as proficient at it. Sit. Good girl, Molly. Stand. Yes. So even if she sits after um, I mark it, I'm going to come back down and reward her while she's standing. So I don't want to give her the treat if she pops back into the sit so I can just help her get up. Good girl. Now let's try the down from stand. Down. Yes. So that I know it doesn't look that hard, but that can be harder because we've practiced doing down so much from the sit position. Okay. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Touch. Good girl, touch. Ooh, touch. Yes. Good girl. Okay. Sit. Touch. Down. Watch me. Watch me. Stand. Good girl. Okay. Good and touch. Yes. All right, so we can just play around with those. Those are nice behaviors. She's doing great. So watch me, sit, down, stand, but on Molly's, you know, Molly, Molly height, and then your touch. So you'll see me doing touch a lot, just getting her in close to me. All right, so the next behavior we're gonna work on is stay. So stay means to freeze. It means do not move until I release you. So my hand cue is a flat palm up. Uh, when we're doing stay, we work on the three Ds of stay, and that's distance, distractions, and duration. So if distractions are really high, I'm not going to try to walk 20 feet away. I will stay really close to Miss Molly. Um, if I'm going for, you know, a two minute down stay, maybe I'm practicing it in fairly low distractions. I'm not going to do that up at Home Depot. Not yet, right? So we kind of work on the three Ds, distance, distraction, duration. But you work on them each a little bit separately. And then you finally put them all together. And that's when you have a really good rock solid stay. So throughout this stay, you're gonna come back and reward her. And when it's over, you say, okay, and pat your leg. So the okay and patting your leg twice, that's her clear release. So right Molly, sit, stay. Oh, here she lays down, stay. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna start out really easy, just move, stay. So me moving around, these are a little distractions. I'll come back to her reward. Good girl. Watch me. Stay. So it's not over yet, because I haven't given the release cue. Stay. Uh -uh. Okay, good girl. I'm going out a little further each time. We're just building it up, baby steps. Good girl. Stay. So I do, do give reminders on the stay, but what I don't want to do is be going stay, 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 right? I just tell her, tell her the one time. And I usually do it after she eats, right? I come back reward because I think when they're chewing, their little brains are like, so tasty and their brain forgets they're doing a stay. So I wait around for them to quit chewing and then I put the reminder on there. Uh, uh, uh. Stay. So that's me giving her correction, doing the uh uh. Keep building it up. Okay. Now, if you're doing the stay and like right there where she got up, 
If she breaks her stay, our job is to go back and, and tell her what to do instead, right? So I don't want to ask my dog to stay and then just let them get up and leave. So be paying attention to her because the quicker you can correct her for getting up and leaving, the better, right? The faster. Um, if she walks across the room and I already let her be across the room and I'm like, hey, you were supposed to be back there, that moment's over. So, you know, if you see her staying and then you see her like, thinking about getting up, that's where you should be correcting it. And all I mean when I say correction is a little uh-uh, sit, right? Or uh-uh, stay. So the uh-uh says, I don't like that. That's not what we're doing. Here's what to do. And then you tell her and we reward her for making the right choice. Okay. Good girl. So, all right. I don't want to spend the whole video doing stays, but um, reward throughout the stay, slowly build in distractions, distance, duration. Quick girl, touch. Oh yeah, good girl. All right.